Hi viewers, welcome to Pinos Jordan. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Gamma Double Hen and uh, Light Brown Pattern Acrylic Made and Ebonite Fountain Pen. And here, this video is specifically uh, take to give you the uh, clear insights on the pen because just with photos, you cannot fully understand about this pen. So here, this is a complete Ebonite finished one and uh, there is uh, a transparent dome on the both of the sides which is giving a more aesthetic to this pen and this is a double end pen which has a yeah, double side fountain pen and uh, these both are the cap and see the aesthetic of this pen and there is no clips or there is no uh, metal particle in this pen and the brand's name gamma was uh, engraved here and let me open and show you the and these are both sides where the cap for this pen and these both are number 35 nibs which has a fine tipped one and you can swap the nibs as you like since we have number 35 nibs in many brands usually pen enthusiasts will swap with candidate nibs where we have number five uh, where we have fine medium broad and flex again with gold dual tone and silver plated nibs also for that you can go to our site click pen spares then go to nibs and then you can use a filter and make a query on what you require and this holding areas are quite bigger and hold the pen uh, pen is uh, fully a uh, quite bigger one so this is more suitable pen for adults who have bigger fingers and for men's and also the reservoir capacity is more in this pen so there's a split in the bo in the middle so you can fill the separately here and fill separately here and you can use both uh, different colors uh, you can use different tipped uh, uh, nib portions you can use this as a double uh, two different pens and this will uh, this hold in the capacity of the ink uh, reservoir is uh, we can fill more than 3 ml of inks in this pen and let me show this separated one and all the threads are turned to own out so please apply silicone grease or vaseline whenever you are filling the ink in this pen when or whenever you are opening and closing this portion and especially in ebonite and acrylic and plastic finish pens these are means in eyedroppers this is an important thing to uh, apply silicone grease this will give a long run and a smooth opening and closing for your pens and on pen maintenance please wash the pens that is uh, that is twice a month because all the dye based ink will precipitate on longer usage so it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a uh, scratch writing and the ink will dry quickly and then you may have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out so the reason is the blockage in the feeders grow so to clean the deposits and dirts please remove the feeder and the nib to, uh, uh, separately by holding this together and twist and pull and here this is quite a little hard uh, thing in the gamma pen so it will because it will these are fixed so tightly so but we are having those tools to separate this so if you're facing so trouble uh, in this you can uh, send your pens to us and we will do services also or else you can uh, just contact us we will give some uh, tips to do that and after removing the nib and feeder you can flush the feeder with the help of any toothbrush or any brush and uh, or else you can soap in the soap water for uh, for an hour and then brush and clean with the water and in some ink bottles itself you can notice on every fill it is recommended to clean the pen with water so here i'm going to give a sample this is brill bottle here it is given clean your pen with water before filling with brill it is unique formulation prevents glogging and aids quick drying on paper so this is a simple process so it is clear unless otherwise we have good cleaning and maintenance the flow will be affected and another thing also few nibs need to be fine-tuned because uh, during manual assembly of nibs the tines may stick together so gently push the tines up and down do uh, twice or thrice on this pen 
gently push and this will give some space in between both the tines and it will create a, a good flow of ink and you will get the smooth writing and please ensure both the tines are parallel if not you will get a scratchy writing and whenever we dispatch the pens to our customer we do this uh, fine tuning and we will check before dispatch and here I'm going to give the writing sample for that I'm using our penthouse violet color ink The writing is absolutely awesome, very very smooth. And here, comparing to this nib, this is writing so fine. This is a fine, and here it is a medium nib. Yeah, the writing is so good and smooth there is no problem with the flow of the ink and yeah if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to our mobile number thanks for watching this video thank you